What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. So I received a comment on this, on my YouTube channel. Many thanks, how to show the thumbnail of the video before customers click play on desktop. We can see the static image of the video, but on mobile, it only shows the play icon without the image TIA. All right, and this is from the video that I had made, how to add your own videos to Shopify without using YouTube for free. However, my dumbass didn't include the mobile code. So I have fixed this issue. So now you can add your videos to Shopify on using Shopify, but it's also gonna work on your website and your mobile now. Okay, so let's get into it. So if you head over to my blog by clicking here, you can get to the article, How to Make Videos Responsive on Shopify with Code. Now, YouTube does not allow me to add this type of code in there, so you will have to go to my website in order to retrieve this code, photohacklovers.com, and then just simply click on the blog and then look for the blog post. Okay, so on here, we have the video here, and I have modified it if you go to photohacklovers.com and you look up procreate watercolor brushes the video plays also on the mobile and I'll show you how I fix this issue so if you're watching this video for the first time in the previous video I showed you how to add the video because you actually have to uh, host the video somewhere so if you're not using YouTube and you want to use self-hosted videos I will show you how to upload the video to Shopify and how you do that you're gonna go to settings and then you're gonna go to files and then you just click up here in the green button upload a file and then when you upload the file I believe I already have one uploaded so um, let's see where do I have the file okay so here I have a file uploaded all right and you can see it's hosted on Shopify so in order to get the code there's a link on the side so you just click copy the link all right and where you're gonna add that link is you're gonna add it right here okay so make sure that you only have one set of quotes in between here okay it's very if, so if you don't know how to code so just know that you're just going to put the link inside here and make sure that you only have one set of quotation marks on the edges here. So this whole piece of information, you're going to copy this, okay? And then you're going to place it in the page that you're creating, okay? So here would be the page that I'm creating, Procreate Watercolor Brushes, okay? So if you don't know how to do that, if you go to Products, you can create Add a New Product. Um, so and so forth. So um, <clears throat> once you're on your page, this is the visual editor, okay? If you click here, it will show the HTML, okay? And this is where you place your video wherever you want it, okay? Now, if you want to change the width and the height of the, because I think the standard is set to like 560 or something, um, if you don't modify it, these the size it'll put black bars around it so my video is kind of small because I I have to use it for also for Etsy so I don't want to I'm lazy I didn't want to create a new video so <laughs> I changed the size from to the height and the width to 300 to 300 to get rid of the black bars and it's very confusing because there's two places to change the width there's one up here and this doesn't do anything. This is where you want to change your width and height if you want to change your width and height. Okay, so once you have that code in there, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go over here to, yes, I'm going to leave the page. I'm going to go over to the online store and then we're going to go to actions and then edit code. Okay, it's going to take a little bit. And we're going to go to assets, assets, 
I'm so inappropriate. Okay, sometimes I can't find the CSS file, but that's okay because Shopify is smart and you can just click CSS and it will find your header CSS liquid. So theme.css. And as you you can see here, it's right here, theme.css. So I've already placed it here, the code. As you can see, it's here, it's working. And I'm gonna show you the code on my web. So all you gotta do is just copy this code, just as it is, all the way down to the last little curly bracket, okay? And then you're gonna copy it, and then you're gonna paste it. You're gonna paste it right at the tippy top of your CSS file here. I leave a gap here in case I fuck anything up. I know exactly where I put it. So that's why I have a huge line in the gap right here where I put it. The safer method is to copy your CSS file, save it out, and then like do edits. But I like to live on the dangerous fucking side. So anyways, so once you do that, then if you go to photohackclovers.com, you look up Procreate Brushes, now you can see my, my video. And once you have this set, every single video that you add to the code will be responsive. So the only thing that you need to do is that you will just need to add this snippet of code and then add your link to your channel here. You can even put a YouTube video in here. You don't have to like put a self-hosted video. You can put a YouTube video in here. I just personally don't have the YouTube videos in there because I don't know if people want to watch like 20 second uh, advertisement videos of my products. I mean, my YouTube channel is more for people learning, so I don't really put that on there because I don't want to like spam you guys to death. So yeah, so that's why I didn't want to put it in YouTube. And um, the other, I looked at a whole bunch of other video sites and they're very expensive. But one thing I love about Shopify is you can upload an unlimited amount of videos and an unlimited amount of content. You don't have to worry about that. If you have like a WordPress site or a diff another site, they always limit you on the content that you can upload. So although Shopify seems expensive, $29 a month, it really isn't when you think about it, when you think about what you can do. Anyways, I digress. I hope you guys like this video and shout out to the uh, young lady who requested it. I see Chung. Is that it? Or am I looking at the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I like your name. That's a pretty cool name. Um, I see Chong. I was always thinking about having a, an alias or something like that. Um, I like the color black. I like emo shit. So I guess my name would be emo. Uh, I like dark colors and stuff. I don't know. But that's a pretty cool uh, username. I love it, by the way. <clears throat> Thanks so much for watching, and I hope I answered your question. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe.